Hi, this is Christina calling with Frito Lay and Quaker Jobs. Is this LaShawn? Hold on, this is. Wait, this is who calling with. Well, who? Christina calling with Frito Lay and Quaker Jobs. Oh, Frito Lay. Okay, Frito Lay. Hold on. Frito Lay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys had a. Uh, had a. Uh, what was it? An ad in Facebook? Instagram, I think. Not sure. But, um, uh-huh. but yeah, what you, what, what do you guys have to offer? What, what do you guys got to offer? Um, which location were you interested in? Uh, well, I'm out of, I'm out of Ohio. Okay. So would you be interested in our Canton, Ohio location? Well, I mean, I I still need to know what you guys got to offer before I can even say, you know, if 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 I'm interested. I'm I'm not sure what you guys got to offer. So what do you guys got to offer yeah. offer out of that location? Yeah, so that's why I was wondering about the location. Some of the benefits and such are different per location. Um we have locations all over the United States. Um yeah. okay, so for our Canton location I can review some of the pay benefits with you. Um, and then if you're still interested, I can go into the route information and stuff like that. Um, I do have the information from my last meeting with the hiring manager, who's Brian, up in Canton. So with the pay, um, I do not have the exact breakdown of the hourly pay. Um what goes into the hourly pay is broken up by components like uh, mileage, drop, hook, delay, um, layover, uh, a bunch of stuff that goes into the hourly pay. And Brian prefers to go over that in more detail during an interview. Um, but I can say the yearly average is going to be between ninety and a hundred thousand dollars per year for our Canton location. Okay, so so since he so since he want, I mean, why would he prefer that? Like, I mean, he 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 wants to see the the um, experience that that a person has as far as uh, going to more detailed about what I what I can potentially be making. Why would he uh, not give you the you know give you the breakdown? Of what he wanted. He want to specifically talk to a driver uh, because of their experience or or what? Brian, I just prefer to touch on the pay in more detail because he likes to also go over how you can max out the amount you make per year and reach that six figure mark, 100,000 or over. Um, and there's a lot that goes into the breakdown of your hourly pay. And he just wants to make sure you're getting the correct information. And that it comes directly from him. Interesting. So potentially a hundred K a year. But mm-hmm. so starting will be like what? Twenty some my dollars or something like that. Uh like ballpark, pretty much like maybe twenty five, maybe twenty seven dollars hourly yeah i think a ballpark of 27 an hour is um is about right there okay okay and and being that he want to kind of like conversate with me which is cool he want to conversate with me about how i can maximize that by like uh uh like incentives and stuff like that right pretty much yeah Yeah. Uh uh-huh yeah 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 yeah, I I I get you. I got you. Um Okay, okay. Um So would that be like regional over the world or local? What 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 we talking here? This is going to be an over the road um position. They their routes go through Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Ohio, and Western Virginia. Um, they are turnable routes, 500 miles total, but some are less than that. Most of his drivers are home daily though. 
Okay, so we looking we 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 looking at regional uh, with the potential of being home daily, but definitely home on the weekends. I can't say 100% if they'll be every weekend. It depends on which route you get when you bid. So they have a seniority based bid board um, for their route. Okay, pretty pretty much. I I'll be coming in at the bottom of the barrel, pretty much, right. Uh, yeah, the more senior drivers will um, get first take, and then it'll just kind of go down the list from there. So it's kind of like if if I'm if I'm reading into this, it's kind of like let's say if the jobs that the seniorities say like, hey, we we don't want to go in in the butthole America. Let's send a new guy, meaning me. I I would eventually have to suck it up until my seniority base builds up, right? I guess that's one way to look at it. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, see, I'm kind of a, when when it comes to me talking to recruiters and everything, I, I, I kind of like lay it all on the line because of my experience, so. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I understand. All right, all right. So, okay, okay, That that's cool. All right, so. Tell me a little bit more about the routes entails. Like, is this from D.C. to D.C., D.C. to stores? What? Um, you're going in and out a little bit. So you're wanting to know, like, where you where you would pick your loads up and drop yeah. them off? Yes, yes. So is this like D.C. to D.C., D.C. going into stores or what? So our CDL drivers are going to pick up their um, loads from the warehouses that are located at the different locations throughout your route. Um, and you're going to drop off at other Frito-Lay distribution centers, um, route sales representative bins. Our route sales representatives are our box truck drivers. So they pick up from the locations that you guys drop off to. So they deliver locally, um, other Frito-Lay plants, um, and some food service, um, and vending customers. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, now let me ask you this question because this is going around now, considering the fact that, uh, yeah. you guys do, uh, wh well, let me ask you this. What do you guys do for pre-employment drug screening? Is it hair follicles or is it urine or both? It should just be a urine drug test. Okay. I'm not. I'm not a background coordinator, so I'm not 100 percent sure. But I. It should just be a standard uh, urine drug test. Okay. Now, considering that it's urine drug test, now it's now this question is not for me per se because I don't do drugs and I know my background. I know I can pass any drug test, but for drivers that. It's like, you know, that has that unfortunate being in the clearinghouse and they're coming out. Do you guys uh, work with uh, with SAP graduates and, or do you know what SAP means? I'm not. I haven't heard of that. I'm not sure. OK, it's the, That's the, the first for me. <laughs> the, SAP, the SAP program is the program for drivers that's coming out of the out of the clearinghouse once they uh receive a negative uh a negative drug test you know uh -huh. fortunately be on clearing house and in order to get it cleared you know they have to work with a company that offers them into the sap program okay okay uh okay. how much how much experience uh do one need for this for this position out of what is it Tempin, ohio out of canton ohio Ta canton ohio um yeah, so Brian just requires one year minimum driving experience or at least 100,000 miles driven with a tractor trailer. It sounds like you have that. Mm -hmm. um, and a clean MBR, no speeding tickets or accidents within the past two to three years. Okay, okay. So from 20, so what if, so if a, dri so a driver is good if he had like an accident in 2020? You know, it's 2022 now, so he's okay. he, he he's good to come in because of the accident that happened in 2020. Or maybe let me push it further. 
How about 2019? So 2022, is he good to come in? 2023, you're asking 2023 from 2019? No, 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 2022, because we're already in 2022. So I just pushed it a little further back. So say you're, so you're say, breaking up there. Uh, okay. <laughs> can, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Good. Okay. So no, let's just say 2019 to 2022. So if he had an accident in 2019, would he be good coming in 2022? Yes, because right. that that's within the three years. Mm -hmm. um, it could pop up when background um, does their pre-employment screenings. But at that point, it's not something that would automatically disqualify a driver. Okay. Um, it's just going to get pushed up to the hiring manager. So it'll get pushed up to Brian and it would basically be up to him. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, what benefits do you guys offer for for the can uh, for out of Canton? Um, for our health, we do have health, dental, vision, and legal benefits. Um, they have the 401k with company match as okay. well as an employer funded retirement plan. Okay. So you'll get both at time of retirement, your 401k and the employer funded one. Okay. Um, and if you ever do have a layover, Canton, um, the last time I had my, the last meeting I had with Brian, Mm -hmm. The only time Canton has their layovers is when they're doing their network runs through North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, and those network runs haven't been available lately. So um, they haven't been doing, they haven't had layovers. But if you do, uh, Frito does pay for your hotel room because they don't have sleeper cabs. They have day cabs. So you get, um, you get a card that you'll use to pay for that hotel room. Awesome. Awesome. So this is pretty much yeah. uh this is is this being that you said this is not a uh sleeper. So this is a uh what uh slip seating or would the truck be assigned to me? I want to say they're assigned. Okay. Okay. Awesome. But don't take my word for that. <laughs> All right. Uh day cabs. What what's what are they governing that? Uh, what do you mean? Like, what kind of trucks are they? Uh, no. Well, yeah, you could tell me what kind of trucks are they, but govern. What? What are? What is the top speed that the truck can go? Oh, that's a great question. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, do you know? Do you, are you? Uh, would you know that if the truck comes with driver facing cameras? Uh, he has no cameras in the trucks or trailers. If that's what you're asking. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, is there a sign-on bonus with uh, Canton? Yes, $7,500 sign-on bonus. Um, and if you are hired on and you have a referral that also gets hired on, then you get another $3,500 referral bonus. How is it paid out? The sign-on bonus? Yep. I want to say it's paid out over 90 days. Oh, Every ninety bad. days, you get some of it. That ain't yeah. bad. So at the end of ninety days, we'll get the full seventy five hundred. Hold on, let me see. Let okay. me pull this up really quick because I don't. I don't want to lie to you. No, I got you. I got you. Okay, so right here he has sign on bonus of seventy five hundred dollars, split on ninety days, one hundred and eighty days, um, one year, two years. Hmm. So does so the seventy five hundred will be paid out in in two years. That's what I'm reading. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Well, um, Frito Lay <laughs> out of out of Canton. Um. Uh, let me see if I can go over the highlights right quick. So we got. Okay. Uh, we we got uh, a run about 500 miles uh, away from the DC. This will be DC to DC. This will be uh, day cabs. All of the incentives, which is separated, but everything else like the miles, detention pay, and everything else will be included in the salary. So instead of 
instead of cent per mile, you guys is doing salary. And the head guy, I forgot his name, You, he'll go over it more with us when we're accelerated up to where he at. Yeah, you, Correct. Is that, is that pretty much it? Did I, did I get everything? Oh, sign-on bonus, uh, two years after being on, 7500 You get a little bit of that after the first, what, 30 days? 90 days 90 so you yeah. get a little bit of that after the 90 days and then everything else is pretty much monthly or something <laughs> like that. okay no, yeah no driver facing cameras and nope. ballpark about 27 dollars a uh 27 dollars an hour pretty much i would say that's a good ballpark yeah all right all right Frito Lay, that's something to uh, that's something to consider, something to think about. Uh, <laughs> good ben- uh, good benefits. It is uh, close to me. Canton, Ohio, is close to me. I, I'm I'm assuming being that this is a day cab, I I can't take the truck home, right? So, Correct. You know, I will have to drive. Ooh. I will have to drive there. Uh, you know, and then drive back home at the end of the week or whatever the case. Okay. Um. Thank you. <laughs> This this is something to uh this is something to think about, but I would definitely uh pass the information on. My name is uh Sean Lockout Man. I got I have a uh Facebook group that I'm a part of too. So I, I will take this information and, and and pass it on to, you know, my, my network of drivers if they, you know, to see if they might be interested in something like this too. So but I do appreciate you reaching out to me. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and going over what you guys got to offer, I'm going to keep this in my back pocket. So if something for me do come up or change or whatever the case, I'll, I'll keep this in consideration. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for your time. No, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. All right. Take it easy now. Frito Lay. If you guys are interested in the Frito Lay, I'll leave the information for you guys in the link. Check them out and uh, see if Frito Lay can uh, work for you. They ask you where you get this information from. Tell them you got it from the Lockout Men podcast show. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, a went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, could bars, you got pops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.